in this clip we will see how to find roots of a polynomial and there is a polynomial here a third degree so we need to do this by graphing so we go to the calculator these were the functions which were added before now we want the polynomial to be input here so let's do some groundwork see when you want to plot this one this is given as equation equal to 0 that means this left hand side is actually plotted as y so y equals x cube plus x square minus 3x minus 3 and when that y value is 0 then whatever is the corresponding x value that is called the root by definition so we will be plotting actually y equals x cube plus x square minus 3x minus 3 so we input that here you don't need to delete these see what happens if you input here uh, let's do that in say y3 it's already set up for y equals this color is green maybe it won't look with sufficient contrast so you don't need to do the color change you simply go down and look for the acceptable color so i think we'll this will have a better contrast so we'll choose this one and start inputting the function x cube so we have x here cube so need to the power here is 3 the next term was plus x square so plus again x and x square already is there on the button minus 3x so minus 3 times x and again minus 3 minus 3 so x square x cube x square minus 3 both are minus so we go and check that we got the thing correctly there it is x cube x square minus 3 minus 3 so we have this right the cursor still blinking here that means it's not selected so here when you enter this will get selected that means saved to the memory so hit enter there it is now it's ready see what happens is if you go for f6 which is the draw and i know th that the previous two are also selected so simply to demonstrate how to work with these things i'm deliberately plotting this and we have these two inequalities and along with that we will have the third curve but we don't want the previous work at all so we go back and we unselect this by choosing the select that means it's a toggle so if you do f1 look at what happens to the rectangle where the inequality sign is so now it is unselected if you go below see this is not selected if you go up this one is solid rectangle it is selected so we will unselect that too by f1 now if you go below you have only one the black one is selected now you can draw your function the polynomial there it is the polynomial doesn't have the proper range for us to see you have to move this by here it is now there is one root here one root and there is one root here but you have to always test it by substituting whether you really get zero value or not so it looks that minus one will be a good guess to consider as root minus three that means x equal to minus 3 x equal to minus 1 and there is one in between 1 and 2 so let's first work with minus 3 so how do we do that we need 
the intercept uh, the uh, trace function so here is the intercept we don't want at x equal to 0 we need it at, at x equal to minus 3 so minus 3 when we enter this we are hoping that this y will change to 0 then it's a root so when you put x equal to minus 3 you get y as minus 12 so that's not a root so let's go back and see if we have minus 1 as a root so again we say x equals minus 1 enter and indeed y equal to 0 so x equal to minus 1 is a root there is one more root here we do not know what that is it could be negative square root 3 which is not rational because it looks like it is one point this is how it can be found let's first do the positive numbers so that's easier so let's go and move this so as you see that my x is increasing minus uh, plus 1.5 and this one is reducing so i will move this until my y is 0 so now it started increasing that means my root is somewhere around x 0.71 at this point you have to make an educated guess this must be irrational root and which is square root of 3 so i do use my calculator which i am using now and i find that 1.73 2 should be the number but I want the exact root so I am going to go and say x equals square root of 3 and there is square root here so shift square root 3 and execute and now you have y equal to 0 so x equal to square root 3 is another root which is a positive root but we wanted only rational root that we got as x equal to minus 1 obviously this another root must be x equal to minus square root 3 and we will check that also so let's see x equals minus shift square root 3 and execute that is also 0 so we found three roots minus square root 3 minus 1 plus square root 3 and with the help of your scientific good old calculator you can make educated guesses and find the roots but the rational root only one that is minus one and that's the end of the clip